Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl Shai, Brock the Howl, Brock the Howl, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash. The blinds to the apostles and the yellows of great millstone with you well. Salutations to hopefully the elect out there, man. You brothers that do this thing in the admiral of truth and sincerity. Appreciate sure Mark coming at you with another lesson. This week's topic is going to be entitled Listen, man, all we do at great millstone is teach. Um, Inspiration for the show, come on, hey, man. I'm watching the apostles live. Apostle Elder Tahar made a statement, man. He said, Listen, man, you think I've been doing this thing for 30 years? To deceive people over 30 plus years to deceive people nah man we go out there and just teach a sincere word of the heavenly father and absolute truth and sincerity man all right uh well and ella zakaran said hey you got motherfuckers that do do that but if they do that they're doing that for what filthy lucre man all right they're doing it for some type of monetary gain well here at great Millstone, we don't do nothing but come out here and teach these scriptures and feed the flock like the scriptures say and i got without further ado let me jump into some scriptures concerning that man this is proverbs chapter 27 verse 23 it says, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. How do we look well to the herds? All right, by feeding the herd, man, all right? You got to feed them, you got to water them, you got to nurture them, you know? Make sure that that's how come, when we when we feed and take care of the herd, that means that we have to make sure the herd is eating the right thing, all right? Going to these doctrines, man. Going to the proper philosophy, all right, of these scriptures, all right? Because as King David says, King David said what? Put me next to still waters, and still waters is talking about the scriptures, all right? And our and our um our redeemer Yahweh Shah was born in a what a manger, all right. And Yahweh Shah comes in a volume of the book, so he was meant to eat, all right. So the food, the water, everything nourishing the flock, is this, is these scriptures, man, all right. We can't give the the flock no GMO food. First of all, let me prove who the flock is talking about. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to uh, Proverbs, Aslaki, Ezekiel, or as the apostles were saying in the, in the live show, Ezekiel, thirty four. And thirty one. And yea, sec and ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, say the Lord Yahweh about she bow shy. So we know that the most are dealing with men, man, alright? Scripture says in the book of Revelation the tabernacle of the most size with men, alright? This this Bible here is not for women, period, okay? This Bible is for men to teach a woman if they like. Alright, because the most side deals with faith. All right, and we know that women don't have faith. All right, faith is what makes a man righteous. Woman ain't, woman ain't got no faith, man. I ain't gonna even speak too much on that shit. But the flocks of the the pasture is the, is the men of the, you know, is the men of most side dealing with. All right, and we gotta make sure that pasture, all right, is being fed correctly. So that's why we don't get no extra shit, man. We don't, you know, I'm not gonna even. You can name names. You got so many different camps out there, man. Like getting these extra extravagant Passover and a, one gimmick after another gimmick and all. And that's neither here nor there. All right. The only reason we mention the ass is they go again. They go into something contrary to the doctrine that we teach, man. Because that's what it's all about. Them niggas in the mother groups, they're going to do what the fuck they got to do. When it comes to this doctrine, man, hey, we got to make sure that the flock is not being deceived, man. So we got to what? Just keep teaching this word, man. All right. And that's what we do here. What's teaching this word? Get into these prophecies, all right? Um, get into the uh, the history. We do so many things, man. But it's all done unto edifying, as the Book of Romans tells us, man. Right? If it ain't about edifying, then fuck it, man. You know, we had to, you know, save our own ass and do what that only Father commanded us, man. Well, we can't save ourselves, but you know, giving our diligence to making our call and election sure, and pray and hope that the Most High saves our ass. Here we go. This is the first Peter chapter five verse two, and Peter was told by Yahweh Shah to keep the flock, man. So I'm bringing, my, I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna bring out Peter, and I'm gonna bring out what Yahweh Shah told Peter. This is first Peter five and two. It says, "Feed the flock of the, of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly." Yeah. So you shouldn't be forcing yourself to do this thing, man. This thing should be in you, man. After a while, man. Hey. If you're a man of the Lord, man, if you're really sincere about this thing, you can't not do three shows a week, man. You can't be all, oh, man, I don't feel like doing no shows. If that's your spirit, then listen, man, you got to pray, all right? Because the most I ain't dealing with no motherfucking lukewarm prophet, man, all right? All right, you guys out there that's lukewarm, that's half into the world, half into this thing, man, don't want to do shows, man. Listen, man, the most I ain't fucking dealing with that right now, man, all right? Now's the time to be hot. There's never a time to be cold, man. All right, a lukewarm and all that shit, man. You got to be hot for this thing 24-7. All right, once you put these scriptures together, okay, or once you start watching the show, you better get in the spirit and start teaching this thing, man, if you really care about the flock. Matter of fact, if you're trying to save yourself as well, man, all right, you want to do the things that, in other words, doing these lessons is another way to get brownie points with the most high. 
All right. Now, I'm not saying you could do a million and one shows and be saved. I'm saying, man, you got to have faith in this thing, man. If you have faith in this thing, you don't do the show regardless. All right. All right. Because faith and works, works and faith, they work in tandem when you read the book of James, man. All right. So I'm going to read this again. First, read this five and two. Feed the flock of the most high, which is among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. So not, not by forcing. All right. All right. But willingly. Not for filthy lucre. That's for that money, man. All right. For that pocket. You got niggas that teach this thing for the pocket, man. All right. To get some bread. All right. They'll, that's why a lot of these niggas out there got women in their congregation because they know that women bring men. All right. And I, and I mentioned in one of my previous lessons that looks, man, I saw a chick going to one of comfy school and the bitch was bad, man. Curvy, tight dress. And she was pushing a stroller. So that could have been a dochi right there. I don't know. I don't know if she was a single mom or not. But you think other men ain't in there thinking the same thing, even though they're trying to be spiritual. The only thing they think about is ripping that skirt off and showing their moves off on this bitch, man. All right? So here at Great Millstone, listen, man, we don't mix business with pleasure. All right? This is straight business. This is what we're about. we just here to teach this word, man. All right? By, uh, it says, not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but for a ready mind. All right? A sound mind. A healthy mind. Let me look up that word ready mind, actually, before I even say it. Right. That's another thing too, man. We go into these words, man. We go into the Hebrew, the Greek, okay, okay. A willing mind, all right. So you gotta be, you know, this thing gotta be on your mind constantly, man. This word is constantly on my mind, man, and it's con it should constantly be on your mind. Teaching, all right, watching shows, always filtering shit through the scriptures. Even when you're going about shit in the world, you're just looking around. The scriptures is flowing in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whether it could be any simple thing. You know what I'm saying? You're around Jake's in the world. You at your job. And it's just, it's just constantly flowing in your mind. You're like, man, you know what? That's a show. That's a show. Hey, that's a good lesson right there. You know? That's the spirit we ought to all be in, man. All right? And if you ain't in that spirit, you better pray you be in that spirit. Because, listen, there's going to come a time. The most ain't going to be fucking um, being patient with you lukewarm cats out there, man. All right? You guys that want to please the world and please this truth. Look, man, the most ain't dealing with none of that, man. All right? None of the prophets were so. Okay? If you're a prophet of the Heavenly Father, man, listen, man. Hey, you're going to be on fire, all right? Because Jeremiah was like that. Jeremiah said, listen, man, I ain't going to teach these niggas no more. Fuck them. But that word was just burning in him, man. He had to he had to let it out, all right? So, hey, I'm going to the next scripture now. This is the book of John, chapter 21, verse 15. It says, so when they had dined, Yahushua saith, on, saith unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, or Jonah, Lovest thou me? Uh, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. <laughs> All right. In other words, man, love me indeed, not words, man. Okay. If you love me, feed my lambs. That's that's just straight up saying. Listen, man, because you got a lot of guys. You die for how we shot it. How we shot this. You know, I die for this truth, this, that, and third, but them motherfuckers ain't doing no lessons, man. They just coming out cheerleading. I seen that shit personally on 34th, man, a lot. All right, death to America and all this kind of shit. But they ain't joining the camp with doing no lessons, man. You're not feeding the lambs. So you're saying that love shit, but you ain't feeding the lambs. See, I was shy as using his, 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 one of the top guys, all right, Peter, to show, you, show us an example of, of how we ought to be. Because guess what? When Yahweh Shah was saying this right now, it wasn't for Peter, man. All right, really, right at that time. It was for us to understand it now, and I'm going to prove that. Verse 16, he saith to him again, the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time. Why does he three, say it three times? Three represents understanding. Uh, third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? Me and he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, and knowest that I love thee. And how shall I say unto him, Feed my sheep? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou was young, thou girdest thyself and walkest with it, thou sh wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and, and others shall gird thee and carry thee with it, thou wouldest not. This spake he, signifying by what death. He should glorify the Most High. When he has spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. Then Peter turned about, seeing as a Salak, it's Salak. It wasn't that one. It wasn't that one that they didn't understand. I think it was the next scripture I got. 
But the point is to feed the flock. And a lot of things that I wish I was saying, again, was for us to uh, interpret. This is the one I was talking about. Flock, you pardon me, brothers. This is John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, all right, because sheepfold is like, you know, you, you're like a, like a part for your sheeps, all right, on your land, all right, like a barn, all right, and there was a certain, the sheepfold is like the entrance. It says, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Yeah, you don't climb over the entrance, man. All right, you got you got the entrance of the sh the, the sheepfold, all right, to the sheep barn, but you climbing up over another way. That means, hey, man, you trying to you trying to duck and dodge the port or the security of the person that watching the sheep to be a thief, man. All right, it says the thief and a robber. It says, but he that cometh in by the door <laughs> is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter open openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his his own sheep by by name and leadeth them out so what man Yahushua is the only the only entrance is the only in other words you know the scripture says man you can't go through on the way man Yahushua is that door all right it says by the name and 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 leadeth them out so like it to him the porter open up openeth and the sheep hear his voice and we that sheep hearing the, the voice of the most high man so when you when this word clicks with you all right you a sheep okay so what you have to do, you have to feed the sheep, man. All right, you have to feed the flock. Don't feed them no bullshit, man. Don't feed them no barbecue cookouts. And that ain't no real sheep, man. All right, that's some goats, okay? It says, hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name and leadeth them out, all right? And there was actually a video of that. You can see um, a shepherd calling the sheep. They had, well, they had different people calling the sheep, and the sheep wasn't li listening. Well, when the shepherd called, they all listened. So when this, when you heard this, you heard all this different types of BS before this truth, man. Whether it be zeitgeist and aliens and all those types of shit, but you knew that there was more to this thing, man. You knew that there was more to this world than meets the eye. But then when you heard this word and it started clicking, then you needed to eat, eat more, man. You know what, man? And when you first come in this thing, man, you, you don't even really eat in moderation. You watch about like 20, 24 hours on end of just nothing but shows. All right, but then you grow a bit more, then you start watching. You know, you don't watch much shows as you watch as much shows as you did when you first got in, because now you now you teaching this thing, man. All right, that's how you ought to be. Verse four, and when he putteth forth his own his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. So we're gonna follow Yahweh Shai, follow the Lamb wherever he go, man. All right, we did it in our past, we're gonna do it now. That's why he said he had followed me in a regeneration. All right, it says. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. All right. Now I was saying that Yahweh was saying this things, these things to the apostles, not for them to really get, but for us right now, man, for us to interpret it. All right, because yeah, you know, starting with the apostles, elders on down, Lord willing, uh, you know, the brothers, elders, of course, you know, we was those men coming back, we were those men coming back, but we don't understand a lot of things that Yahweh was saying, man. A lot of those things was parables flying over our heads. For us to interpret and break down now. And I'm going to prove that. It says, verse 6, This parable spake Yahweh Shai unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. See, they didn't get it, man. There's a lot of things they didn't get. Okay? Because it wasn't for their time to get it. It was just for their time to write it down. You know what I'm saying? I'll teach the basic seats of milk. Okay? I mean, but later on, you know, there's certain deeper breakdowns and mysteries um, during the time of Paul that was revealed unto them. But guess what? They, even certain things Paul didn't fully understand it back then, all right, that, you know, that we understand now, okay? A lot of prophecies, a lot of things that these prophets were, that were writing about, all right, there's no way for them to interpret it, all right? There was just certain things that they couldn't. How they going to know America, you know, you know what I'm saying? They get, they're not going to write the name America. This place will be called America, and you will be speaking English you know what I'm saying? There's just a lot of things they didn't know in terms of just full on straight out, I'll blurt it out like how I just did. All right. Because if they did that, guess what? And prophecies couldn't be fulfilled because the so-called white man would suppress his Bible to the utmost. So it had to be written in code, man, for us to interpret now. OK, that's the law writing thing. You know how you send a, like a coded message? The motherfuckers in prisons do that. They send like coded messages in their letters that, you know, certain people could get and then others could interpret it. Hey, well, the most I send like a coded message. All right. You know, that damn near this, the white man can't get it. Two-thirds of our people couldn't get it. But the prophets could get it to wake up what? The sheep, man, and feed them. All right? All right let me jump to that next scripture. What we got? This is Acts chapter 20, verse 28. It says, Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over 
the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he hath purchased with his own blood. All right, so listen, man. This is your reasonable service. This is something you ought to do. Because what? The Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, went on the cross for us, man. All right, so this is the least we could do for him, man. All right, this really ain't... Yo, in comparison for what we're going to get, the kingdom? You kidding me? Come on, man. You know? As my man Ed Lover used to say, come on, son. For real. We got to feed the flock, man. We got to do these lessons. Okay? And nobody should be forcing you to do no lessons and pushing you to do no shows, man. All right? We got enough fuel by watching other brothers. Okay? Because what? There's certain dispensations of faith. So, you know what, man? Hey, you got no excuses, Israel. All right? You, you Jake's out there, you got no excuses, man. If you're making up excuses, well, you know what? The most side is going to give you excuses when you want to get on the chariot. You know? Via laser beam. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 46. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children or your sons to observe, to do all the words of this law. All right? Amen. So we got to observe and do these commandments. You got to observe and, 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 and keep the, keep in mind all these scriptures, all right, from beginning to end. All right? Making sure the flock, again, man, is getting uh, fed the right food. All right? And this, this particular topic, I ain't going to get into all the fools, all right, because there's so much things that we feed, all right, in terms of the prophecies, the history, whatever. All right? But listen, man, if you if you run a motherfucker and they all, they, all they're doing is get into bullshit, want to get into debates and all this type of extra shit, you got to just say, listen, man, wait a minute. The Lord ain't come for all that, man. The Lord set up men to teach, have the 100% truth, and just teach the truth, man. All right? None of that extra shit. Hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaqa Dash, Double lines to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, which you well. Salutation. Hopefully, elect out there, man. You are, you are came to do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.